Okay, well, we want to cover the next question is basically, um, do we need a mobile app for my customers to benefit? And pretty much that depends on what you want to serve uh, your customers, um, the level of convenience and interaction you want with your uh, customers. Um, is this a best practice, we believe, that with anything that you do in your business, you should start with the customer's mindset uh, uh, and the value you want to create for them, right? So when you start from there, it's really easy to work backwards and understand, okay, what are you going to actually deliver to them? You want to make it seamless. You want to make it um, uh, valuable. You want to make it contextual with your messaging. You really want to create the best user experience, which actually takes a lot of work. Um, and it's recommended that if you already have an app, you should probably spend, it's not going to cost that much money, extra money, but to add beacon functionality because you could do a lot more. You could, you're could basically creating more value for your customers in the end. And so, um, uh, so you're able to respond to offline environments using that device. You know, going back to our whole bringing offline to online to offline, it's a really uh, great benefit. And, and so mm -hmm. the answer is you could do without a mobile app. Uh, you can just to deliver passes and then use um, that pass uh, for the delivery of your messages through beacons, right? But if you wanted to create a more uh, fulfilling, enriching experience through your app, and we, what we always tell our customers is that, you know, you don't, we don't consider um, them to be the same thing. The functionality, if you think about what a mobile wallet is, right? So if I had 10 apps and I had uh, 10 membership cards, I don't want to have to go to 10 different apps. I want it all in my wallet. So that's the functionality of the wallet. They keep it there, that's where it needs to be. Now you drive them to the app for a more, uh, for maybe entertainment, for more information, uh, all that stuff that you can't just place on a simple um, pass. Yeah, I mean, with the pass, you can program a pass. If you go to passkit.com, create a pass, input your beacon details, send it to your customer. Whenever they have that in their phone and they're near a beacon, they'll get a lock screen message, but that'll just open up the pass. In order for there to be more, a higher level of interaction and, inter and engagement, you will probably need to have an app to install, to have beacon functionality so that there is this extra level of interaction, extra level of engagement, and just different personalized experiences. So yes, it is a lot better to build to for your customers to benefit if you actually have an app but it's still possible without the app now wendy i know we can't divulge this on the call we do have a solution where you can benefit or your customers can benefit from the ibeacon technology without the need for an app mm -hmm. um, we, we can't talk about that on this call but certainly if you don't have an app we would recommend start with passes and then if you want that greater level of interaction that an app provides, but you also don't have an app, probably the best thing is to get in touch with us on that one.